uh, safety in our schools has to do with a mindset of uh, whoever is in charge. Now, school business is not like every other business, but it is still like every other business where there are uh, standard, uh, um, you understand, operating mm -hmm. systems. There are ways to do things. Now, when you are employing teachers or anybody into a school system, their emotional well-being has to be observed. Mm -hmm. Their mm -hmm. attitudes. Mm -hmm. In my own case, nobody comes into the establishment. No matter what you are doing with us, I have to meet with you. I have to interact with you. I tell them that the chat is very important. Mm. So by the time you are giving me attitude, you are impatient with me, whatever, sometimes I spend a whole day. I actually learned that from someone I worked with in the past. I could make you hang around for a whole day and I'm observing your attitudes. Mm. At the end of the day, if your attitude towards me, if you are impatient, you get angry easily, mm. you know, stuff like that. No matter how brilliant you are, you can work with me. So at the beginning, when people are coming in, mm. you know, we have a lot of issues in the country mm. now. Mm. The economy, how it has affected the emotions mm. of people. So teaching is a school environment. Teaching is a job that's seemingly available. And mm. people are just coming to him. Mm. You understand? Because one of Everybody the, just comes into everybody the Everybody just industry. comes into the Because, system. okay, when he, low wash a teacher. Low wash a teacher. Mm. Mm. Because it's the, it's it's available. the most available job. Exactly. Mm. But empathy is very, very key mm. for anybody to succeed as a teacher. Because whatever a child is passing through, whatever is the situation you find on ground, what should be paramount on your mind is the well-being of the child. Of the child. If a child has done some... I remember way, way back when we first we just started the school i had a little girl that had some challenges that i didn't even understand she was one plus and i realized that teachers started taking her for granted you know what i did i followed the girl all over the place mm. that girl is a star today mm. Mm. she 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 we on her body she she couldn't control a lot of things and i spoke with the mother and the mother told me what the child had passed she, you know, from like five months, mm. and I decided to monitor the child, follow up the child, even <laughs> though the teachers didn't mm. understand. You know, teaching is a vocation. Mm. It's a vocation. It's something that is learned. It's not something people, somebody will just wake up one day. Because people that actually attended the colleges of education or studied in the Department of Education in the university, Learn about psychology, child psychology. I was actually and a lot and a lot of mm. things. You understand? So it's not a job that people just wake up in the morning and say, I want to do. Now I crossed over from accounting to mm. education. And because of that, I have studied widely over the period of uh, uh, 15, 18 years, mm. and I understand it when people are coming in. They feel it's a job. Is it not to just work with the children? Is it not to just to understand the topic <laughs> and teach? Hmm. How about the emotion? It looks as if anybody that is remotely brilliant it, should it, be no, a teacher. No, no, it doesn't work that hmm. way. They look at your grades. They're like, bring your YX certificate. It Let's see how you pass work that this. Way. You have to Did be you emotionally YX? stable. Oh, you to just be a teacher? You have to be. You have to be. But teachers, oh, sorry. <laughs> You have to be. Um, are schools safe? There is a S uh, attached to that. Mm. Are schools safe? Mm. Um, I'm sorry, yo. when me I was in school, mm. all the way in primary school, mm. ah, me I not forget uh, Mrs. Adewumio. <laughs> ah, she's the one that made me not like biology. Oh. <laughs> and we're talking about in the nineties, so and I don't understand. You say our teachers are supposed to be emotionally stable. They are supposed to be. I ah. said supposed to but be. But they are human beings. They are too. human beings. But this is, you know, in a discussion with somebody recently, uh, religion, family, and uh, our workplace are the, you know, mm. the 
areas or how will I put it now? The scope of our lives. lives. Mm. You understand? Now, religion, you can decide to leave one parish to another, another. parish. Mm. Family, you could be my sis and I can decide that because we don't agree, mm. we sort of manage our relationship, relationship. Mm. and I can maintain the distance, distance for it. peace and mm. manage it. Mm. But when you talk about work, mm. career, and all of it, if you cannot deal, don't just go there. Mm. Mm. That's it. Now, talking about schools, okay, and then the situation in our country and all of that, mm. using the case study of this child that mm. just passed mm. on. And mm. then. So do you support that toddlers are meant to be in school? Ah. Well, there is toddlers there is toddlers they come with homework mm. Mm -mm. They, wait, wait, school they have boarding school <laughs> in this <laughs> world where we have boarding school for toddlers is that mm. where you are asking if they are supposed all to be in school because it's a field like all, all of those they have boarding school for both toddlers all of those mm -hmm. all of those to a reasonable extent mm -hmm. are pure child abuse mm. besides the fact that there is a place of uh, early childhood education. So what's the age for early childhood education? Well, from age two. Age two. From age two. And this is not education as in the writing and reading education. Okay. You understand? Yeah. It's more of playing. Exposure learning, to the environment. You know, learning in the playing style. Hmm. Hmm. You understand? They come into the school, we sing songs, we dance.